Hi everybody. I have another Macduff book for you today. This one is called Macduff and the Baby by Rosemary Wells and Susan Jeffers. Macduff and the Baby by Rosemary Wells and Susan Jeffers. There's Macduff's house. Every night, Macduff slept on his very own soft blanket right at the foot of Lucy and Fred's bed. At breakfast, Fred read the comics out loud to Macduff. In the afternoons, Lucy walked Macduff in the woods where he could smell skunk trails in the leaves. After supper, they all sat on the sofa together and listened to music from the stars on the radio. Every day, in every way, Macduff was happy. But one day, a stranger arrived. It was a baby. The baby kept Lucy and Fred hopping all day long. There was no time to read the morning comics out loud. The carriage would not roll on the woodland path, so they had to walk on the street. All the neighbors admired the new baby. In the evenings, the baby interrupted the radio concerts. She woke everyone up in the middle of the night. Lucy and Fred hoped Macduff would love the new baby, but the new baby pulled Macduff's beard and he did not want to be nice. Macduff growled at the baby from across the room. The baby just laughed. Macduff gave the baby terrible squinting looks. The baby didn't mind at all. Macduff stopped eating. Macduff has stopped eating, said Lucy. I bet he misses the comics, said Fred. Over cereal and fruit, Fred read the newspaper aloud to Macduff. Then Lucy walked Macduff in the woods. There were hundreds of skunk footprints in the wet leaves. After supper, Lucy and Fred gave Macduff his favorite treat, a vanilla rice pudding with sausage slices. Then they took the radio outside. In the dark of the garden, all four of them sat on lawn chairs and hummed to the music from the stars. Woof, said Macduff. Woof, said the baby. The end, my friends. Finally, Macduff and the baby are friends. See you next time, guys. Bye.